Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the ACC Championship here in the Charlotte 49ers Dynasty. We are 12 and 0 at this point, and we have hit an all time high here and have shocked some teams across the nation. But we go up against a Miami team who is red hot. After starting the season two and four, they have now won six straight games, including the last game of the season, beating Pitt, who was only a one loss team and propelled themselves to a conference championship bid. They have a very, very good quarterback in Tyler Van Dyke. Now, during those four losses, he was actually hurt. So really, he is undefeated as their starter. He's eight and zero. Oh. So now he returns for an epic streak here towards the end of the season as they look to get a championship. Don Chaney is a very good back. 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns on the ground. Also has five touchdowns through the air catching. And on the defensive side of the ball, you know they always have a pass rush. Miami always has some elite pass rushers going into the NFL draft. That doesn't change this season. So let's get this game underway as we are in the snow here in Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Here is Brooklyn Santana back to receive the opening kickoff, and he takes it out for a gain of 23. Now, it's rare to see snow here in the ACC, but we get it here in the championship game as this is essentially a home game for Charlotte as we are not at our home stadium, but in Charlotte, North Carolina. So here's Pitt Howard getting a handoff up the middle, a big time hole opened up for him and it's a gain of 12. First down for TPH. TPH is the all time leader in rushing touchdowns for Charlotte as we throw on the third and six. Here's a quick throw to Dalton and it's gonna be caught spinning and Dalton is still on his feet and he dives forward for the 26 yard gain tackled at the 30. Christopher Dalton is also a senior this year. Hopefully we can make that run into the playoffs. Here's Johnson this time, play action, and he goes down. Harrison Hunt gets there. That's a loss of six yards. So still in a field goal range now. Play action fake throwing to the right side. It's Maurice Parks on the outside. Look at him, keeping his balance, throwing the stiff arm. It's a gain of 20, now goal to go. So second and goal play now. Johnson moves, throws on the run. He's got Terrence Pitt Howard, who reaches for the touchdown. How about that opening drive for the number one team in the country? Is how about Jeffrey Johnson putting together a great drive? It's seven nothing here versus Miami. So here comes this red hot Miami team out onto the field. As here's Van Dyke, his first throw is gonna be caught by their leading receiver, My Michael Redding. It's a gain of three, his first catch of the game. You gotta think they're gonna throw the ball to him quite off, often today. Quick throw once again, it's to Redding. The same exact play it looked like. Gain of 11, first down. So here is Van Dyke, he can also run the ball pretty well. Here's a quick bubble screen out to Smith who cuts inside, avoiding a tackler and picks up a gain of eight. Clifton Cobbin was there on that stop. So second and two, a draw play. Van Dyke takes it himself up the middle and picks up another first down. It looks like that was Terrence Youngblood on the tackle that time. So Van Dyke now throwing to the right side. Chaney throws off a couple of defenders and does pick up more. Gain of 20 for him. Is now there inside the 20 yard line. Van Dyke now throwing across the middle. It's gonna be Hanson who throws a stiff arm but tackled from behind by Billy Bugs. It's a gain of 10. Miami's looking good on this opening drive as they're inside the 10 yard line now. Here's a handoff. Chaney throws a stiff arm, it's a touchdown. Don Chaney throws it, and that will be a rushing touchdown. Looks like Daniel Pierre was right there. It looks like Chaney just threw a little subtle stiff arm to get him on the ground. So 7-7 seven, seven here as we try to run the ball, start the next drive, and it's not going to work. It's a loss of two, Terrence Pitt Howard. So third and 12 this time. Johnson throws on the run. He's got Terrence Pitt Howard in the flats, but it looks like Miami will come up with the stop and a punt on our second drive. It's a great field position to start off the next drive as Miami had a pretty good return. As here's Van Dyke with five wide. Here is Daniel Pierre getting some penetration, just absolutely plowing down the center. And we get the stop, it's a loss of two. So second and 12, they come out here with two backs in the backfield, throwing across the middle, and it's caught by Keyshawn Smith. 
Kevin Knox was not looking at the ball. He was looking at the receiver, and the ball just went right past his helmet. So here's Van Dyke now, once again, throwing to the right side. He's got Redding, who cuts a field. What a move, touchdown. Devin Parker absolutely just gets fooled on that one. I'm not sure what happened, and Miami takes the seven-point lead. So here we are back on an offense. Terrence Spithauer continuing to get the rock here. It's a gain of five. So from the 45, third and five again. Here's a handoff, great blocking. Oh, and Terrence Spithauer just gets tripped up. But it's a first down. So now here we are, about four minutes left here in the first half. Here's a throw down the right sideline, and it is knocked away. Keontre Smith, as that brings it to a third and ten. Johnson from the pocket here. Three wide receivers out there. He's going to throw to the sideline and almost picked off. He tried to lob it over the top. It looks like he threw a bullet instead, and that's another punt for this Charlotte offense. So here is Miami back out onto the field. They try to run the ball right away, and that is a stop. C.J. Miles was there in the backfield. So second and 12, another speed option. Van Dyke keeps it to the right side and does take it for about a gain of 10. Terrence Youngblood was there on the stop. So third and two, Van Dyke throwing a wide open Hodges. He's got it in space, throws a stiff arm in the tight end, picks up a gain of 18. So they move the chains once again as Miami has had a couple of good drives so far. This one looks like a good one as well. As C.J. Miles gets beat off of the blocks and it looks like that was a quick pass design. First down. Van Dyke once again, another first down carry and he keeps it up the middle for a scramble, picking up a gain of 18. He's got decent speed as well. You gotta watch out for him scrambling as well. So here we go, inside the 10. Van Dyke, handoff, Chaney on his feet still and does fall forward for a few extra yards. It's a gain of five. So second and goal now. Here's a handoff. It's Cheney to the outside. Touchdown. 21 to seven here. Miami is looking like their offense is carrying them as they have a top 15 defense as well. So two minutes left here in the first half. Here's Brooklyn Santana with the return on the right sideline. He takes it across the 50 and gets a pretty good return to start us out here before halftime. So we started out with a handoff, and that is Terrence Spit Howard, but this defense is there. That's a loss of one. As Terrence Spit Howard still stays in the game here for a third and 11 this time. Johnson tries to get rid of it. It's a sack. And we lose another drive to punt. And now here we go, down 21 to 7. 55 seconds remain, and we cannot allow them to score. So here's Van Dyke under pressure right away, and we send the blitz, and that one gets to him. That one's Daniel Yates that time. Nobody blocked him. Sent more blitzers than they had blockers. So second and 15 this time. Throw into the sideline. It is Keyshawn Smith again. Gain of 14. They get all of that yardage back and more. So third and one. They're going to run Redding in motion. The handoff to Cheney, though. He gets to the outside, and a great stop. And that is a great tackle by Youngblood. And it's going to be maybe inches to go. And they're going to line up to go for this here. Six seconds left here in the first half. They're just going to throw a Hail Mary to the end zone. Van Dyke. Let's see what he's got. Throws it. It reaches just the corner of the end zone. And it's picked off. That is C.J. Miles on the tip and catch. And he will take it back to the 30. And that interception will take us into halftime. 21-7. to It looks like Miami's came to play this time in the snow. And we're going to have an uphill battle to climb. So here we go. 21-7, to and Miami has possession. They are in complete control so far. Here is Don Chaney, a little option play. Van Dyke pitches it to him, and they've been doing so well with their play call. It's very, very versatile. They're keeping us on our toes. Second and eight this time. Here is Van Dyke up the middle. He takes it for a gain of two. So that eventually brings it to a third and six this time. Van Dyke, three wide receivers out there. We send the pressure. He gets rid of it across the middle. It's Redding again. They just find holes in this defense no matter what they're doing, running the ball, passing the ball. It's just been that type of day for this defense. So here's a draw play. Chaney, he, this time we get a little bit of a stop. It's a gain of three. So third and four this time. 
Cheney is out of the game. Here's a quick throw to Hanson, though. He's got it, and he gets in. Touchdown, the catch and run. And that one is the second passing touchdown of the day by Tyler Van Dyke, and Miami takes the 21-point lead here in the third quarter. So here we start out the next drive here at the 48. Here's a deep shot, and he's got Maurice Parks. What an answer. Touchdown. Jeffrey Johnson with the perfect throw. And Maurice Parks gets behind the defense. And it looks like the cornerback was just looking at that flat route. We haven't went deep all game. And we finally open it up. And Maurice Parks gets behind the defense. So two score lead just like that. Here is Van Dyke back out onto the field. Here is a catch by Brown taking a huge hit by Clifton Cobbin. And I'm wondering why we're not getting any pass rush. And it looks like it's because Daniel Yates, our leading sack getter, strained his Achilles. He's going to be out for two weeks, so he's done for the game. So here is Don Chaney back to the game now. Gain of 19. You can just see having Daniel Yates on the bench, it's definitely a huge loss. That's going to be Gabe Griffin who does sub in for him, though, on the right side of the ball. Here is Van Dyke, though, keeping it on the option. It's a gain of 17. Inside the 10, Miami has just not been stopped on offense at all this game. Here is Mitchell now into the game for Cheney. Handoff, it's a gain of about six. So just about three minutes left here in this game is now they're threatening to score on the goal line. Third and goal, handoff. No, he's going to keep it to touchdown. Tyler Van Dyke, just the weapons they have on this team. It's incredible. 35 to 14, they're back on top by 21. So here's Johnson now to close the third quarter as he throws to the right side. That is Enzi Labata. He gets about a gain of 15. So we come out here with five wide now. Here's a wide open man across the middle. It's Matty Brooks. He gets inside the 10, tackled at about the six, and it's a gain of 17 for his first catch of the game. So JPE runs in motion this time, second and goal. Here's a quick throw to him. He bounces off of a tackler and does get stopped at about the inch yard line. Needed about three and a half. He only got three. So third and goal. And here's a handoff, NZ Labata. It is a touchdown, back to a 14-point lead. So Van Dyke now back on an offense. This versatile play call, I mean, they can call everything in their playbook. Option, draw plays, runs. Passes, play action passes, they have it all in their playbook, and it's showing today. Van Dyke throws to the outside. It's caught by Hansen again. Another first down. Miami has 20 first downs through three quarters. So we start the fourth quarter. Here's another play action. Hansen again. He's open. It's C.J. Miles on the tackle, but, man, is he carving us up this game. I don't know how many passes Van Dyke has missed, but it's not been many. Here's a quick throw to the left side. It's Smith again, and he's got it for about a gain of nine, but a flag on the play, and they're going to call roughing the passer, so it's going to be an automatic first down. So first and goal now. Here's Chaney back into the game, and he runs through the defense. Touchdown. We just can't stop him. And with that carry, Don Chaney is the all-time leading rusher in Miami football history, and he does it versus Charlotte. So 42 to 21 now, the number one team doesn't look good. Down by 21, and we go down. Jeffrey Johnson gets sacked. That's Jafari Harvey for his second sack of the game. He was one of the guys I was worried about on this defensive front. Second and 21. Aaron it deep, Matty Brooks, and he drops it. You've got to be kidding me. In big games like this, these are the plays you have to make. Matty Brooks, that would have been a big-time game, maybe even a touchdown. And now that brings it to a third and 21. Johnson throws, and the man he was throwing to, JPE, was blanketed, and that's incomplete. We punt the ball away instead of going for a fourth and 21. So here we go back out on defense. We didn't have a chance on that one. Van Dyke throwing and it's picked off Devin Parker right away he's gonna take it back to about the 42 that's what I'm talking about your playmakers have to make plays in these big time games and Devin Parker showed up with a big time turnover so here we are back on offense here's Devon Cash he has his first catch of the game right here and it goes for about a gain of 10 
So here's a handoff. Labata, who gets the carry. Terrence Pitt Howard is actually shaking up this game. He's out with a concussion. So Labata and Kaiser are going to have to finish this game at running back. The pressure was right there, and that was Jafari Harvey. Almost had his third sack of the game. We get rid of it as we get inside the five. Handoff. Labata falls in. It's a touchdown, but with four minutes left, we're going to need another stop. So here we go, down 42 to 28. Here's a handoff, this time Redding on the jet sweep, and he's got it to the outside. A perfect play call by Miami. Man, are they calling one of the greatest games I've seen versus this Charlotte team, no matter what type of defense we play. They have a counter to every single front. So now they get it across the 50. Here's a handoff. This is Don Chaney trying to get to the outside, and that's a great stop by our defense. We have to call the time. They have to call a timeout. And now Luis Osorio checks the game here, number 57 on that stop, third and eight. Here's a quick throw, and that is a nice tackle. Daniel Pierre was on the ground, got up, and made that tackle. But Miami is going for the kill. Fourth and seven at the 39. They're going for this. Van Dyke, he has the screen pass set up. Cheney all alone. He's got one man to beat, and he throws off Devin Parker for the first down. Don Chaney makes it happen. He throws off Devin Parker. He can't make the tackle one-on-one, -on -one, and Chaney ends up with the first down. So now it's under a minute and a half left. Chaney, handoff, touchdown. And they go for the dagger with that one. 29 to 28, and that one ends up being the final straw. Miami beats the number one team in the country in Charlotte. It took us 12 games to lose one, but now we walk away with our first loss of the season. Miami was red hot, and I got to be honest with you. If their starting quarterback was not hurt, they could have made the college football playoff and even went undefeated. I think they were that type of talent, and you can see it today. I mean, this is a very, very good football team. But in the snow, in these conditions, Terrence Spithauer getting hurt. Daniel Yates getting hurt. We didn't have any pass rush the entire game. That ended up being a huge difference. And our defense just could not stop their offense. They put up 49 points on us. And I don't think we'll drop in the rankings too far. I think we'll still be in that 18 playoff since we're number one in the nation. And we lost to a very good Miami team. And we ended up getting two turnovers, but they ended up not mattering much. Parker's was very clutch, but it wasn't enough. 49-28, Jafari Harvey, one of the best pass rushers in the country. He had three sacks. Tyler Van Dyke had two touchdowns, two interceptions. And Don Chaney ran for four touchdowns, and he broke that record. So we look at the top 10, or at least the top five, or top eight after that conference championship week. Tennessee ends up beating Auburn, number nine. They dropped to number nine after that loss, 30 to 13. That's a three loss Tennessee team who was number one in the nation. How about Florida, though? They were nine and three on the season. They did not make it to the conference championship, yet they are still number three in the country. Oklahoma, deservedly so, is number four. I think they maybe should have been number three as they defeated Texas by 21 in the conference championship. And then we find out we dropped to number five. Charlotte is right in front of Northwestern, a very good team. They had two losses on the year, one at Minnesota, and then later in the season they lost by a score as well. Number seven ends up being Rice. They get back into the fold here. They will make the college football playoff this 18 playoff. Their only loss comes to Ohio. They have the number seven seed. And number eight was definitely up for grabs and South Carolina grabs it. They had a terrible loss at the end of the season there versus Clemson, 17 to 40, but they ended up having their only two losses only by a total of 12 points. So that propelled them past Auburn, who lost in the conference championship in the SEC. So we get three SEC teams here in the college football playoffs, one Big 12, zero Pac-12 teams. California might have been one of those snubs. They lost an ugly game to Oregon State, but their strength of schedule was not good. They did lose the number one Tennessee, 
but the Pac-12 was just not strong. UCLA was 9-3. and three. That was the best team in that conference besides Cal. Even USC, who they beat in the conference championship, was 7-6. and six. I mean, it was just a weak schedule, and that's why they did not make the playoffs. Now, good news going into the college football playoffs. Daniel Yates is actually going to be healthy. Now, he was initially going to be a two-week injury, but now it looks like he's going to be healthy, so that is a good sign. So here is the bracket here for the college football playoff. We make it as the five, number five team in the country, the five seed, and we will take on Oklahoma, the Big 12 champions. They just beat Texas by 21 points. It's going to be a tough game. So that's going to do it here. Can Charlotte continue this great season? And next episode, we will have our first ever college football playoff in this series. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I hope the rain don't come in November. Cause the summer went way too fast. I'm trying real hard to remember.